How's it going guys? It's Chris from Patriarch Cigar Page. It is Labor Day weekend. I had an amazing weekend. I was relaxed. I got some house stuff done. Other than that, it was super relaxed. I'm pretty happy because next weekend I gotta go back to California for work. So that's gonna suck. So let me uh, get this coffee ready. I hate when people do this sh stuff. They don't take their K-cups out of the damn machine. Hate it. Um, but yeah. Let's get my coffee poured, go pick out a cigar, and see what we'll be smoking this morning, guys. guys you guys saw in the last couple clips i am smoking the gurkha master select connecticut i've been smoking for about almost 20 minutes because these cicadas out here in arizona are just going crazy with the noise and i don't want that in the background of the video so i've been waiting a little bit until they quiet down um but so connecticut wrapper from the gurkha cigar fillers are dominican and honduras um i've had really good experiences with connecticut um with gurkha actually and i had really bad experiences the Gurkha War Pig was my first ever experience with the Gurkha cigar. It was just horrible. Taste it was the taste was horrible. Um, the burn was worse. Um, and not trying to bash on Gurkha because they make a really good cigar. Like this Gurkha Master Select Connecticut and the Gurkha Cellar Reserve 15. They make a a bunch of good cigars and they make a lot of cigars. Um, so you are gonna get you know a couple bad ones. Um, but I mean from the beginning of the cigar, I'm tasting slight cedar, a little bit of leather. Um, very very earthy floral uh, notes coming out of the cigar going very well with the coffee in the morning it is a, a mild cigar very very mild I already had breakfast so I'm good to go with smoking cigars because I don't want to get sick um, and you might hear the cicadas they're going making noise again it's crazy out here we had a huge monsoon storm yesterday it was very very windy um, but I'll keep smoking down to the middle portion I want to cut this clip short before the cicadas go crazy uh, I'll smoke down some middle portion, see if the notes change at all, and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. So I'm down some middle portion, guys, and the notes actually did change a lot, and it was a little bit of a shocker because I'm getting notes that I didn't get the other times that I smoked the same exact cigar. It's maybe because I'm focusing more on the cigar now, um, and for me, when I want to get the full experience of a cigar, I have to, you know, put the videos away. I tend to watch YouTube when I uh, smoke cigars. Like right now, I'm, smoke, I'm watching uh, Whiskey Vault on YouTube. I'm trying to get into whiskey and learn more about whiskey because I want to know what I'm talking about when I introduce whiskey to people. So I've been watching the Whiskey Vault on YouTube. Definitely check them out if you are a whiskey person or getting into whiskey. They're very, very informative. They know a lot. Um, so I paused the video, started focusing more on the cigar, drinking my coffee, and I got strong cocoa, hot chocolate, uh, bitter coffee uh, notes on there. The aroma is amazing. The aroma is very chocolatey creamy creamy cigar and the burn is just perfect i have not touched that up guys i am coning a little bit i might be smoking a little too fast other than that it is burning perfectly guys and i'm getting that the um, chocolate candy where it's the hard out, outer shell of chocolate and the inside is like a cherry um and cherry filling that's what i'm getting from the cigar it's very very nice i am getting a bitter coffee in the back of my palate the back of my tongue i do get a little bitterness nothing too strong Nothing that overpowers the creaminess and that hot chocolate cocoa flavors coming off the cigar. And I was very surprised getting those notes because, like I said, the other time I smoked the cigar, I have I bought a, probably a pack of 20, and I've smoked 10 of them already, and I never got those notes. I got mostly cedar, earthy notes. So it was very it was a shock when I started tasting those uh, chocolatey notes that I usually get from a Nicaraguan tobacco. Um, but it's an amazing cigar, guys. And especially if you buy them for super cheap, I bought these, I think about $3 a, a stick, super cheap. And the construction is amazing. Um, so I definitely recommend it, guys. I don't know what I'll be smoking later tonight. Um, I'm definitely going to pour me some whiskey. After watching the Whiskey Vault, I've been wanting to drink some whiskey. Um, I bought myself a new uh, Famous Grouse whiskey bottle, so I'm definitely going to pop that open and drink some. Usually when I smoke, uh, when I drink whiskey, it's usually a Maduro or a stronger cigar. So we'll see what we'll be smoking later. And uh, stay tuned for that, guys. See you in a bit. So, guys, I know I was smoking another cigar, and I am. 
a little bit later tonight. But right now, I gotta prep for dinner. We're having chicken fajitas. So we went to the grocery store and we bought all, our, all the things that we need. Um, but before I start prepping, I'm gonna go to that whiskey rack right there and pick something out to drink while I prep. So, I told you guys I was gonna have a cigar with some famous grouse that I just bought about two days ago. But while I was out grocery shopping with my fiance, I found this, Basil Hayden's. I've never tried it. I heard it's really good bourbon. So I'm actually gonna have a cigar with Basil Hayden's and while I prep the food, I'm gonna pour some famous grouse. So let's get to it guys. So guys, as you guys can see, I started the charcoal for the grill. Um, a couple clouds are coming in. I hope we don't get hit with a huge monsoon storm. I hope we do get a little bit of rain because my pine trees around the house really do need them. They're dying on me. Um, but I got the grill going, got the chicken marinated, the vegetables are good to go. So I picked out a cigar um, and I got a beer with me. This is the Kona Brewing Company uh, Pale Ale. It's a really, really good beer. Um, and this cigar is my go-to for any yard work or barbecue. It is the Puros Indios Viejo in the Robusto size. I bought these for like $1.50 a stick. Uh, really, really cheap, but they're handmade. They're not machine made. I'm pretty sure they're a Cuban sandwich for that price. But I mean, the flavors are amazing, guys. And the burn, it's, it's a good burn for $1.50 a stick. Can't beat that. Um, but I hope we don't get attacked by the monsoon um, because I do want to do that. Uh, other part of the video where I smoke a, a premium cigar with the Basil Hayden's. Um, I know I said it doesn't be a famous grouse, but I bought myself the Basil Hayden, so I'm super excited to try that. I've never had it before, so um, I'm hoping we don't get a huge storm, but um, if we do, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys next time.